welcome to another walk in the spirit come with me as we have another walk a happy thanksgiving to all my united states uh followers this is for those of you not in the united states this is well tomorrow <clears throat> well i'm recording this on wednesday but on thursday tomorrow is thanksgiving in the united states and i'm doing a special thanksgiving walk in the spirit this is a location i've been to several times nice river here and there's some geese over there one just landed but i think there was another one already there um now i do have some orange under me still but i'm in a park so i'm not too worried about deer hunters um, but i want to say right away because i know not everybody sits and watches all the way through this all the way through my videos this is going to be a very special a very different video and if you know anybody who needs healing please share this video with them or to just a wider audience today we're, i'm going to be praying for people to be healed and i'm going to start with a th my th what i'm thankful for this year and that is my healing so I think it was about 2012 or 2013, I was diagnosed with arthritis. I damaged both my knees, uh, a minor knee injury d during a skiing incident. And then uh, a couple years later, I fell on some cement and my knees were bothering me. I went to the doctor and they said I have arthritis, but it was small. They said it'll probably get worse when you get older. Well, again, that was 2012, 2013. I think it was four years later, or maybe less, maybe three, I had to stop bike riding because it was too hard on my knees. Well, two months ago, it got worse. And really, really bad knee pain. It's so bad, I missed, I think, a week and a half of work and i put on video i may not do any more walk in the spirits uh and then three weeks later i was better i mean not fully better i'm i'm, I'm about 100 percent so i received healing in my knees now i did take supplements for my knees so god may have used the supplements um he may have healed me directly may a mixture of both i don't know but i'm thankful I'm super thankful here I am out in the middle of the woods doing a hike I didn't think I was ever going to be doing it again possibly I always put the <laughs> uh, hope in the Lord there that I would be able to do something again possibly and so the Lord brought healing to my knees so I'm gonna share a few scriptures uh, before I pray for other people's healing by the way, I will be targeting specific healing, but I'm also going to be making available for any and all healing. Okay? I'm going to go through some scriptures because I'm a man of God's Word. And when you stand in God's Word, Word produces faith. And that's actually the very first scripture I'm going to use today. going to read Romans 10 17 again please share this video with others so more people can get receive healing in their lives Romans 10 17 so then faith comes by hearing and by hearing by the Word of God so the more of God's Word you have the more faith you can have now faith is similar to basic salvation okay there is grace there. Sometimes people can be healed through somebody else's faith. There, I didn't have this in here, but this is a good example. There was the time Jesus uh, was in somebody's house and was preaching, and there were some people who wanted their friend healed, and they couldn't get through the crowd, so they dug through the roof uh, of the house he was in and lowered him in, and he was healed by Jesus by their friends so if you are standing in faith for somebody you know and love who wants healing praise God there is faith for that as well now some people don't believe in healing so let's read a few healing scriptures 
course, I just relayed one. 1 Peter 2.24. 1 Peter 2.24. who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. So you see, Jesus was whipped before he was put on the cross. And those stripes from his being whipped was for our healing. All right, the next scripture. Let's keep moving along here. The Mark 16, 17, and 18. Mark 16, 17, and 18. By the way, when I was walking through here on my way to the start, I saw a buck right in there. Right in the middle of deer season, saw a buck. Mark 16. Again, please share this video so others can receive healing. Mark 16, 17 and 18. And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. They will take up serpents. And if they drink any, anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Now you may say, Steve, you can't lay hands on me. Yeah, you're in Wisconsin, I'm in, you know, California, Texas, Australia, Canada, Africa, wherever you might be. But praise God, I don't have to be with you. God is with you. And the anointing of God that might be upon me, God is able to reach anyone, anywhere. And it's God that's going to heal you, not me. Uh, I have another scripture. Let's get back to another location hit the main trail over here yep so falls here you're not going to see many many leaves let's just do a quick spin here Um, before I get to my next scripture, uh, I want to share a couple things. For those of you who need healing, please put comments down below. I need healing. You don't have to if you don't want to. If you want to, if you want to remain quiet about it, that's fine. But for those who need healing and want somebody to pray, those of you who are standing in faith for other people, can comment down below I will pray for you so let's say you are in need of healing for your mind because we're gonna be praying for people's minds for their brains to be healed okay due to injury sickness disease we'll talk about that in a bit and you can say I need healing please for my mind and then people can comment below your comment and say I will pray for you and for anyone who desires prayer I will comment and pray for each and every one of you. I'll pray for everybody who's watching, but I'll also pray for you specifically if you make a comment, okay? And I invite anybody who wishes to pray for those who are in need of healing to comment below saying they will pray for the, these people. All right, let's go to our next scripture. Let's go ahead. All right, we're gonna to go to the very first subject. See, I got this idea actually about two weeks ago. And I was gonna actually do it like last weekend or perhaps a week and a half ago. Uh, but the Lord directed me other things and I think this is a great time to do it. Being thankful for the healing God has given me. And it, God put in my heart to focus on one specific healing but make sure it's open to everybody. And yes, I want to pray for people who have damaged brains, damaged minds, due to 
For example, I knew a girl in the Air Force. She, when she was born, she had an umbilical cord wrapped around her neck and she had brain damage. Now, a few years ago, I had someone who was cutting my hair. I, went to, I go to a, a place where they uh, do haircuts for free for veterans in, in a school and one of the students cut my hair. She had her brain damage due to an accident. Now there are some of you out there who have testimonies that they lived in drug style lifestyles and perhaps your mind, your brain was damaged due to drugs. Okay, we can pray for that too. I know somebody who has MS and it's starting to affect their mind. I'm going to pray for you for your minds to be healed. Now, for example, a few years back, you may know the story. I'll give this story first before I go to the next scripture. I believe in healing, I've seen healing, and I've seen the raising of the dead. My son died. I gave that story, okay? I'm not gonna do the full story here, but I prayed for him, I prayed in the spirit, in tongues, and he came back. He was resuscitated, but he was resuscitated 10 minutes after he was down. And all authorities that I've talked to, and you can look it up online, say every minute your heart is stopped is a 10% chance of you not coming back. So after 10 minutes, that's a 0% chance of coming back. But I prayed in the tongues, I prayed for my son, and he came back. And afterwards, we found out what his problem was, and I prayed, I stood on a scripture, I think it's in Isaiah, I'm not sure, I think it's in Old Testament, where I found a scripture that says, I will give you a new heart. I'll put the verse on the screen, I'm not gonna read it. And I stood on that scripture for my son, that God would give him a new heart. Again, remember sharing, the more word you have, the more faith you have. But God can bring healing, even if you don't have a scripture, and he can bring healing if somebody else has faith for you. So the more word you get, the more faith you can have, but there is also grace, like salvation, because we're saved by grace, and you can be healed by grace. But I'm gonna read a scripture now for the healing of the minds. So those of you who want your brain healed, your mind healed, I'm gonna give you a couple scriptures that you can stand on to help you have more faith for your healing. All right, the first scripture I'm gonna read on this is Romans 12, 2. Romans 12, 2. Romans 12, 2. For the healing of your mind. Romans 12, 2. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Use this verse for God to renew your mind. He is he's able to overcome any injury, any sickness, any disease, any abuse, alcohol, drugs. God has overcome. Jesus has defeated Satan and has overcome this world and by his stripes you are healed. Let your mind be renewed in Jesus name. I have one more scripture on this. We're going to read 1 Corinthians 2.16. 1 Corinthians 2.16. 1 Just a couple pages away. First Corinthians 2 16 for who has known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him but we have the mind of Christ Galatians 2 20 right I preach it all the time for we have been crucified in Christ it is no longer us who lives but it is Christ who lives in us we want to deny ourselves put off the old man which is another scripture and put on a new man Sure, God can heal you and you can live in sin, but it wouldn't be better to have the mind of Christ? Now, I'm not saying that God is just going to completely allow your physical, personal mind to be corrupted and that you only have godly thoughts. That's not how God works. God wants you to deny yourself. 
So I believe he can restore your mind so that you can have the mind of Christ and deny yourself and walk in Galatians 2.20 and let him live through you. But that you also can have the capacity in your mind to know God's ways, to know God's word. God can heal your mind so that you can know him, know how you should walk, and give up your life and live his life. So those are two scriptures I have for those of you who desire to have your mind renewed. And right now I'm just going to pray for you. Those of you who want healing in your mind, I'm going to pray for you specifically right now. Dear Lord Jesus, I pray for everyone out there, no matter what status they're in, maybe even if they're not even saved, that they come to know you, that you can manifest healing of their minds, that they might find peace in you, knowing that they are saved, and that you can restore their mind, bring healing to their brains. And I pray for all my brothers and sisters in Christ who have an injury, who have may they abuse their brain, their mind, their body through drugs or alcohol. But now they repent of their sins. And we just pray, Lord Jesus, even for those who do not have faith, that the grace of God, by those of us who do have faith, that by your stripes we are healed, that you manifest the healing of God upon their minds right now. In Jesus' name, just send your spirit and the anointing of God to bring healing to them, that their, their minds may be healed by your stripes and by the anointing of your Holy Spirit and in your name I pray. Now it is interesting that I've already made this decision to make this video again like two and a half weeks ago and then I discovered I sat in a family member sat with a family member in my car and the next day I found out that this family member has COVID. So I'm praying for COVID, that I don't have it, that I be healed of it, and my family member is healed of COVID. Any of you who know someone who has COVID or who has COVID, I'm going to pray for you now, that you be healed by the stripes of Jesus, for Jesus has overcome COVID. In Jesus' name, I pray for all those who are struggling with COVID or maybe had it in the past or are struggling with symptoms, I just pray, Lord Jesus, that you bring healing to every person who has COVID, who's had COVID, and is struggling due to this. By your stripes, we are healed. And now we know, Lord Jesus, that you have told us through your scriptures that we are going to be in the beginning of sorrows, and one of that is plagues. So I thank you, Lord Jesus, that we do not have to suffer the plagues of this world, that you can bring healing to us because you have overcome this world. So yes, folks, I believe that sicknesses and diseases, plagues of this world are on the earth due to the times we are in, but we do not suffer God's wrath. Be healed in Jesus' name of COVID. Now I'm also praying for people who have cancer. Anybody who has cancer out there, I'm praying for you that the Lord Jesus touch you bring healing to your body that you could be healed and free of cancer in Jesus name I pray for everyone who has cancer right now that they be healed I feel the anointing of God that cancer be healed and be removed from every person who has cancer who's listening to this and those who we are praying for our loved ones our friends our family acquaintances that we might pray for that they be healed of cancer in Jesus name going back to I know someone with MS and that's what was bringing struggles to their mind so in Jesus name I just break the bondage of MS anybody who has MS out there I pray for you that you be healed not only in your mind of all MS symptoms in Jesus name everyone who has MS they are free and they are delivered in Jesus name all right, folks, I'm going to do one last prayer for other sicknesses and diseases out there that people might have. And I'm going to pray for you, for all sicknesses and diseases to be healed. Once again, I just pray that you, you receive the healing of God 
and make a comment down below that you desire prayer for healing and that God can manifest healing in your life and that others can be in agreement with you and make comments below. I appreciate that. Everyone who is going to be with me standing in prayer for our brothers and sisters in Christ or even unbelievers that they might be saved and may see the power of God and be healed of any sickness or disease. Let's pray for all sicknesses and diseases for people who might be struggling with at this time that we have not covered in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, we come before you today. There are people out there struggling with many kinds of sicknesses and diseases and injuries. And we just ask you, Lord Jesus, to manifest healing in everyone who is struggling and needs a healing. We just pray, Lord Jesus, that you bring your spirit upon them, to bring them comfort and healing by the anointing of God. By your stripes we are healed, and I stand with them in faith, and in Jesus' name I command those sicknesses and diseases and injuries to be gone, bodies to be mended together and healed by the stripes of Jesus. For he has overcome this world and has defeated Satan. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, folks, Again, this is a special and a different walk in the Spirit. But I, want, I was thankful for God's healing. I've seen healing in my life. I've prayed for other people who've been to seen them healed. And so I needed to step out and deliver to, unto others what God has given to me. Again, I am not healing you. God is healing you. It's by His stripes we are healed. All right, folks, we're standing in prayer. I will pray for everyone who makes a comment down below that they want prayer for themselves or if you, you want to make a comment for someone else, I'll pray for them and they'll stand with you in, in faith and in prayer. Make your comment below. I will also comment below you and say I will pray. Please folks, share this video with others so that others can also receive healing and people besides me can pray for them. God bless folks. I hope you all who are in the United States, have a happy Thanksgiving. God bless to everybody else. We'll see you soon, Lord willing. If I'm not raptured, if we're not raptured, if I'm not censored, God bless folks. Have a good day. Bye-bye.